G'day you cheeky dogs, today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review of the Bluey 28 minute special The Sign. I'm going to be going over all my sort of general thoughts and feelings about the theme of this episode, the music, the style of animation, the amazing wedding of course between Rad and Frisky. Woo! Frisky the wedding of the year. As well as some of the information about the cameo voice actors that we get for this episode that were already confirmed by the Bluey website as well. Hi there, I'm called Bucky Winston, expert in real estate. Can't get to the phone right now because I'm busy selling houses. Yeah? What a do. As well as some of my favorite things that we saw in the trailer that ended up popping up and my recap of the episodes that you need to watch before you watch the episode The Sign. I'm Chili, I need the toilet. Oh, socks! And I will tell you now that you do need tissues, especially if you've cried in a Bluey episode before. You're definitely gonna cry in this too. I myself definitely cried twice. <laughs> And that was with me even watching this in a totally different language as well. So if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget tissues as well as don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. So you know whenever I release all of my other videos about the sign, cause there will be so, 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 so many. Also, if you wanna watch the sign ASAP, it is available for free on Australia's ABC iView streaming website. However, you do need to be in Australia to view this. But if you are in America like me and need to watch it, you can use NordVPN. I I'm not sponsored. This is literally just what I use. So this is my affiliate link here. I'll have it pinned in the description box down below as well with a tutorial on how to use it. So you can watch the sign ASAP. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to, Billy. But let's talk about the themes of this episode. And something I really love is the fact that Chili is basically the audience throughout this episode and how we feel after watching the episode Ghost Basket, where of course we saw that the for sale sign was up, the healers are wanting to sell their home. And of course we do find out why that's happening in this episode. But Chili very much reflects how the audience is probably feeling, like all the attachment that we have to this house and how sad we are at the idea of them trying to sell it. But look, I can't do this every time. And a big theme of this episode is miscommunication. And I think that's such a really unique idea to do as the theme for the episode, because it's not something we've seen a lot of in Bluey and especially this style of miscommunication as well. And another little thing that I think is really cool is in the episode Double Babysitter, Bluey and Frisky storylines parallel each other. But you have to give it a go anyway, or you'll be stuck in a tower with the stinky dragon forever. Okay. And the same thing happens again with this episode, The Sign, both Bluey and Frisky are having a lot of issues with miscommunication that parallel each other. And it's just such a really cool, like kind of throwback to that's what we also saw in Double Babysitter. Something else I really love is also them showing how kids deal with the idea of change, especially with the idea of selling a house because Bluey of course is older than Bingo and they do a really good job of showing how they both view this and the differences in it. And it is ends up being kind of emotional as well. The little dinosaur sitting in the carriage. Yeah. As for the music though, it is of course incredible as always. They have some very iconic like Bluey music coming back into this episode. A lot of it is also from the new Bluey Dance Mode album. So definitely give that a listen again before you watch this episode. And also in case you didn't know, the voice of Calypso is Megan Washington and she herself is a famous singer and she has her own song in this episode as well. You can go and listen to it on Spotify. It's called Lazarus Drug. So I would recommend probably listening to that before you watch the episode as well. Just again, it just will give you a lot more like thoughts and feelings about the episode, especially knowing that it's like Calypso singing it. <laughs> As for the animation, it of course starts off pretty standard with what we've seen in Bluey, but they do some really cool and unique things with it. One of those, of course, is something that we've already seen a little bit in season three, and that's playing with like the lighting that they do. So for example, in the episode Musical Statues, they change like the color scheme based on like the time of day and night it is. And they do a similar thing here as well in the sign, but they go almost another step further with it, I feel. And it's just so beautiful to see them showing the change of time throughout the episode. As well as something really cool they do is making some of the characters look like like super 3D and not like the like zoom in face that we've seen with like the bug on the wall kind of thing, but just the way they played with shadows with some of the adult characters just really makes them feel like they're 3D and gives those specific moments just so much more oomph. Oh, that's nice. There is of course two kind of like unique special styles that they've added into this. One is with the Calypso, which is really cool. And another one is at the wedding, which we've already seen in the trailers. And that's the dance scene that they do and how they have like the people in the background kind of just like blurry figures almost while the main characters are like showing off their dance moves and that was such a really fun thing to see. 
Now, speaking of the wedding, of course, we know that it's Rads and Friskies. It's been in all the trailers and we've been talking about this for like years now, basically. But the wedding, of course, does hit a lot of like the stereotypical parts of a wedding. So it is really cool to see all those like little different things within Bluey. There are a lot of funny gags in it as well and like some emotional moments too, but definitely more funny moments during the wedding than not. And overall, it just means that it's a lot of fun. And definitely if you get a chance, like while they're doing the wedding scenes, try and pause to like see some of the fun little extra stuff that you can see in the background. As for what we saw in the trailers, of course we saw like the Terriers telling Winton that their mum likes their dad. How mum likes your dad. And um, this whole storyline we already knew, of course, was going to be very important. But in general, it's probably my favorite thing out of this entire episode is that one section. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Now, in the Disney France trailer, of course, we saw that Grandpa Bob is back. We also knew he was coming back because Joe Brum had talked about it in interviews and podcasts before. But we do find out what is going on with him and where he's been all this time. And it turns out we've actually had clues being like laid out all throughout season three if you've been looking for them as to where he's been. Good night, Missy. Good night, Leela. Good night, Grandpa Bob, wherever you are. Now, we do, of course, also see Brandy in this episode. Again, we've seen that in all the trailers of her sitting at the table with Stripe and Trixie and Bandit and Chili and everyone. And of course, in the Australian trailer, they showed that she was pregnant and it's been all over the internet now, everywhere. And yes, we see that in this episode as well. And to be honest, I'm 50-50 about it. What? I'm really interested to see what you cheeky dogs think after you've watched this episode, what you think about her being pregnant and how they did it all. I will have a video about it out after the episode airs officially in Australia. So make sure again that you've clicked like that bell for notifications so you know when that video comes out. Oh, hello, Good to see you again. The butterfly of course has also come back and we knew it was gonna be very important and it does link up to like Frisky and the for sale sign and everything like that. But it's not as important as I had theorized it to be. I've done a lot of theory videos. You guys know that it's something we do on this channel and it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, but it is still important. As for like the police gag that we saw in some of like the earlier trailers, honestly, I felt like it was a bit of like a filler moment in the episode is that maybe the best way I can put it. It's funny and I love like the police dog and his voice actor. And I understand that like a part of it pushes the story forward, but I do feel like maybe it's a little bit filler. I'm chilly. I need the toilet. Oh, socks! Now, speaking of the voice actors, of course, let's go through some of the fantastic cameo voice actors that we have for this episode that was, again, already confirmed on the Bluey website. Now, we have Bucky, who is voiced by Rove McManus. And if you are not Australian, Rove is iconic. Like, he had this famous, like, talk show back in the day. He's a famous Australian comedian. And it's so awesome to see that he's taking on the role of Bucky because he went all out for it as well. Like, he changed his Facebook profile picture to Bucky. He also did, like, a voicemail pretending to be Bucky selling the healer house for the domain website so him overall just as this character was fantastic anyway leave a message and i'll get back to you pronto which i believe means quick the policeman that we get to see in this is voiced by Joel Edgerton, who is a famous Australian actor. You may have known him as Luke Skywalker's uncle in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series over on Disney+. Plus. But again, I did really like what they did with him, and I loved the design of the character as well. Now, in the trailers, we did also see in the Mount Kutha shots two sheepdogs, which were some new characters that we hadn't seen before. And we do find out who they are voiced by. One is Deborah Mailman, who is a famous Australian actress. And if you, again, don't know who she is, I recommend watching the movie The Saf Fire. she's fantastic in it but she also has a lot of like fantastic tv shows as well on abc iview so if you need to use your nordvpn for other shows other than just bluey you can check out some other fantastic australian stuff as well because the streaming site is free now the other sheepdog is voiced by brendan williams who is another bluey content creator he is one of the hosts of the hammer barn project and it's so awesome to just sort of see like this outside love for bluey content creators getting on to the actual show bluey there is also one more voice actor who's a cameo in this but it hasn't been put on the website and I don't want to spoil it so it'll be a nice little surprise when you see that because I think the character also looks a lot like them in real life. Overall for me this episode is what a surprise. Five out of five long dogs. It is fantastic. It's 28 minutes of Bluey. It is emotional. It has a lot of funny moments. It ties up a lot of loose ends. It has a lot of fairy tale endings as well just like in Devil Babysitter. For the sake of the children they get married. The end. Hooray! 
I'll take it. So I do really love this episode and I can't wait for you guys to let me know what you think of this episode as well down below. Now I did already previously do a video this week about the episodes that you really should watch before you watch the sign just so like you get the full appreciation for it. So these are the episodes all up here. Pause it, take a screenshot, do what you need to. You can watch them in this order or out of order but I do recommend at least watching Helicopter and TV Shop together and then Grannies and Bedroom and Ghost Basket together. But until later on this week when all of my other videos about the sign are going to come out. I have picked two cheeky dogs out, a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I will see you all in another video. Bye!